Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video I'll be painting another witch elf, but this time I'm going for a grimdark version. Grimdark is a term associated with Warhammer and harkens back to the old concept art of the likes of John Blanche. This art really represented a grim and dark setting for Warhammer and is one of the reasons it's so popular till this day. I think Grimdark is more than just painting sloppy and dirty. Let me show you how I paint Grimdark. After spraying the model black, I'm using Palette Swish Flesh to create a off-white zenithal highlight on the model. Spray from an angle to create this highlight. <laughs> Then, from a bottom angle, I spray Nagaroth Knight on the model. This is a very nice, rich purple and creates a deep purple shadow on the model. This will look more interesting than a black shadow. By now we know all contrast paints work wonders with a zenithal highlight. So let's apply some here. First, I paint the skin with Basiliconum Grey. This will create a dark, and dare I say, grim skin tone. All the leather is painted with the Black Templar. For this model it's the chest piece and boots. Any gold on the model is painted with snakebite leather. The contrast paints make great use of the purple undertone, making everything look disgusting right out of the box. The loincloth is painted with Flesh Terror Red. This is a great spot color on a otherwise grey and purple model. Unlike my previous witch elves which had bright hair colors, I am giving this witch a muted tone of Berserker Bloodshade. Any gems on the model get a coat of Achillean Green. Finally, I shade all the areas that will be plain metal with Targor Rage Shade. Here we have a great base for a model. Working with contrast paints on the zenithal highlight gives great results. But it doesn't end here. I am going to highlight everything in the following steps. The skin gets a layer of Dawnstone. I am keeping the skin ashen grey. Then I add a highlight of Celestra Grey. And I end with a final highlight of Ulthan Grey. The skin is very grey and has no life to it. Great for a grim dark model. You could use more human skin tones if you want, but I personally like the bleakness this skin tone gives. Leather gets highlighted with Thunderhawk Blue. Focus on the areas that are hit by light. I make a smaller highlight with Pharisian Grey. This focuses the reflection. Finally an even smaller highlight of Ulthan Grey. This gives the impression the surface of the leather is really reflective. This is actually the same method I used on my previous Witch Elves. But because the undercoat is different it already gives a different feel. A more dirty looking leather. The gold gets a highlight of Hopgrat Hide. I just love the combination of this paint with snakebite leather. I add a smaller highlight of Dorn Yellow. And any metal areas get a highlight of Rune Fang Steel. On to the last highlights. First, I highlight the gems with Temple Guard Blue. 
and I add a dot of Ulthan Gray to make them reflective. I also highlight the hair with Ulthan Gray. The loincloth gets a highlight of Evil Sun Scarlet and another highlight of Wild Rider Red. The base I want to contrast with the dark model. So I paint the entire base with a mix of fluorescent blue ink and magenta ink. I then paint slash dry brush the raised areas of the base with incubi darkness, leaving the purple light in the crevices. I highlight the raised areas with stegodon scale green, and highlight again with Dark Reaper. Now it looks like the purple light is shining on the model from the bottom. As an extra grim dark step, I cover the entire model with streaking grime. After waiting for a bit, I use a makeup sponge with some white spirit to remove most of the streaking grime. This will leave the grime in the recesses, making the model look even more dirty. Finally, I use this fun trick to create realistic blood splatters on the model. This was also a test to see if this works on smaller models, and it does. Basically, I load up an old brush with blood for the blood god. I hold it not too close to the model, and with an empty airbrush, I blast air on the brush. This will splatter the model and the paint pots that are standing right behind it. I also added some streaks of blood on some areas with the same old brush. And here we have a grim and dark looking witch elf. Looks quite menacing. Painting grim dark can be really fun and it's not a difficult technique. But it is a technique. Choosing the right colors, creating random patterns is all part of this. If the entire model is just a blob of dirty brown, it doesn't work. You need to think about spot colors and color use to keep the model interesting. I hope you enjoyed seeing a more putrid tutorial on this channel. I will be back soon with another one. In the meantime, be sure to check out my Instagram where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.